What's going on guys? It's Sparty Kids Bringer of Rain. Come at you with a figure review on the Marvel Legends series cable. Of course, the figure's in a window box display. You see his big old guns. Of course, he does come with the Sasquatch Builder figure piece. And of course, it does have the Deadpool logo and it does say cable on the bottom of the box and it does have the Hasbro logo as well. And on top of the box, you do have the Marvel Legends series logo as well. And on top of the box, you do have that nice image of the logo of Deadpool. And on the side of the box, you have a nice picture of Cable. And of course, on the back of the box, you have a nice picture of Cable as well with all the figures of the wave. And of course, you do see a nice image of Sasquatch. And on the other side of the box, you have a nice image of Cable. And of course, let's crack this bad boy up from his plastic prison. And let's take a look what Hasbro has given us. Now that we took him outside the packaging, my first initial thoughts about this figure is that this figure... I honestly was not really looking for for this figure because we did get a cable from the Juggernaut Wave and I was like, you know what, I just want one cable and that's it and just the end of it. But honestly, this cable is a really, really nice cable and I will compare it to that cable. I rather prefer the Jim Lee cable, to be honest, and I know we will get it sooner or later. That's another twenty dollars off my pocket because of Hasbro, but honestly, I am not disappointed of losing twenty dollars for this figure because there's so much detail with this figure, especially the head sculpt. I'm really, really digging the head sculpt. Like for instance, on his eye. Yeah, if you can see on his right eye, the scarring that he has is really, really minor detail, but I really do appreciate that. And this effect, you cannot take this effect off. It's not a peg. You can't take it off at all. I will ruin the figure if I do try to take it off, but I do appreciate the effect that Hasbro has given us for that. So, and the reason why I appreciate it is because... Hasbro has been giving us the same effects and same, uh, some of the same accessories for a long time. And I do like the little effect that they added for this figure. And I do like the hair that comes with the figure. The hair, the hair sculpt is nice white paint with a nice black wash. Hopefully you guys can see it in the camera, but it's nicely done. And I do like this call com that he has on his ear. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot take it off. It's not a peg in it. So that is a minor thing, a minor dislike, but I cannot complain too much of that, of the figure, because Cable is known to have this. So I cannot complain about that of the figure. And of course, a lot of people are wondering if you could take this off. You could, because the head is on a ball joint, so you could take it off and take this off. But honestly... I'm just taking it off for you guys to see. It The figure looks weird without this. It's just... Cable is known to have so much gear on him and big guns. And for me, I'd rather have him with this. So it's your choice if you want to have him without it or with it, but I'd rather have it with it. Of course... This, I do like this massive amount of belt slash football gear slash, I don't know what you want to call this, but I'm going to call it a football gear because the football pads, that's what it reminds me of, but I do like the gun shells. They're nicely painted, no paint splotches or anything, and I like the coloring that they added, like a bronze color into it, so I do appreciate that. And I do like the sculpting detail and the wash that they use on some of the pouches. All of them. Except the green ones. They didn't do no paint wash into it. They did do a nice sculpting into it, but no paint wash. If you're just wondering. And I do like the sculpting into the belt as well. Nice paint wash all around. They really didn't have to do it in the bag. But I do like the fact that they did it everywhere. Not just in one location. And, of course, they didn't do the wash into the ones, the green ones, like I said. There's all around nice sculpting. I like the metal arm that he has. 
I believe this is from the old cable figure. I'm not 100% sure, but we will be comparing it to that. So we'll take a quick look at the other cable in a little bit. Of course, nice sculpting on the hands. There is a little bit of a paint rub here of the blue from his torso. But that's unfortunate that that happened. I took him out of the packaging and that's how it looked. But I will clean it up a little bit to see if I could take it off. But, of course, nice sculpting in the pants as well. But in his butt pockets. They really didn't have to sculpt butt pockets into Cable. But I do appreciate that they went that extra mile of him. And I think there is plastic rub. Because that wasn't there when I took it, I took it out of the packaging. So... Be aware of that if it is rubbing against your joints. And of course, nice sculpting in the pans. Nicely done. I like the wrinkles into the figure. Nice sculpting in his pouches and his legs as well. No paint wash. I do wish they added paint wash into the pouches in his pants but I do appreciate that they added the paint wash here instead but of course his boots his knee pads nicely sculpted of course his boots nicely sculpted as well really really digging this figure to be honest if honestly if you guys were not gonna pick this figure up I would consider it. I understand that, you know, we did have that other cable. But honestly, in my opinion, just by looking at this figure right now by itself, this kills the other cable. But anyways, let's continue on with the rest of the review. These are the accessories that cost the action figure. He does come with three guns. And of course, I do like this gun. This, to me, this is a staple for cable to have. Because he is known to have one large gun on him all the time. And I do like the detail that they added on the gun. Like, for instance, to scrape it on the front of the gun. It looks really, really nice. I just wish there was at least some minor paint detail into it. I just don't like... The only thing I don't like about these guns is that they don't have no other paint in, in them. And it just it sucks because... We've seen this with Hasbro doing this a lot of times. You can peg this gun in the back of Cable. There's a hole right there. The peg is in the back. And this is his other gun. I do like this gun. I think I think this is a new gun, to be honest. i never seen this gun at all in none of the Marvel Legends. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do like this gun. I like the fact that Hasbro's been giving us new guns. And it does look futuristic. Like he came from the future. So I do like the fact that they added this. But like I said, there's no paint paint detail at all. And he does come with this gun. It reminds me of a sawed-off shotgun, to be honest. And you do have storage for this gun. And it's usually in his holster. You can holster it, the gun. And I just don't like the fact that he doesn't come with interchangeable hands. Because I would have liked switching the hands for him to hold these two guns. But he doesn't. So that's unfortunate. Of course, there's really no paint detail, but there is nice detail into the gun. I do like it a lot. And now to get into articulation of the figure, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I just noticed something about the articulation that really, really kind of regret praising Hasbro a little bit. Details of the figure are really nice, but there's something about the articulation that I'm going to get through with you guys, and I hopefully... This doesn't happen with you with your figure. For instance, his head is in a ball joint. So he can move up quite a bit. Can move down quite a bit as well. But because of this, it does hinder it a little bit. But you can tuck it in a little bit for him to go. But he does, his head does go up back how it was. And this is my problem that I have with my figure. This piece, well, the arms cannot hinge up at all and it's because of the plastic it's hindering a lot or the articulation it's hitting it and it's eating the plastic and it just it sucks and that's on both arms it's not just in one 
and I just noticed that. So that really, really sucks that Hasbro didn't implement it, something for it to the arms to hinge up. But that that's a little bit frustrating. But anyways, does have bicep swivel, so that's good. He does have double jointed elbows, so it can bend them in quite a bit. Does have a hinge on his wrist, so his hinge is like a roll of dice motion, so he can hinge up and down a little bit because of this part is hindering a little bit of the articulation, so that's unfortunate, but in a way, it's still good. And this one, this arm does have a hinge that goes up and down, so that's really good, and does swivel all around on both arms, if you guys are wondering. And does have a ab crunch, so it can crunch out, crunch in quite a bit. So that's really, really good. Can't crunch out that much. Kind of looks kind of a little bit weird, but anyways, does have he does have a swivel on his waist, so that's really good. Can't kick out that much. Can't kick back that much, so that's really good. Does have a thigh cut. Does have double jointed knees. That can bend in this much. And it's because the sculpting of the pants is hitting the back quite a bit. So that does hinder a little bit of articulation. So that's unfortunate. But does have boot cut. So he can swivel all around as well. His legs can move up. And down. Quite a bit. And he does have ankle pivot. And just for size comparison, we have the Marvel Legends Deadpool standing next to the Marvel Legends Cable. And I do like the sizes between these two characters. They're perfect. And in my mind, Cable should be bigger than Deadpool. And for my final thoughts about this figure is that this figure is a nice figure to have in your collection. Especially the nice detail that Hasbro has given us. And especially there's a lot of new parts with this new Cable that I really enjoy. Like the guns, the harnesses the paint wash the face sculpt everything about the figure but with that being said i'm really big disappointed on the fact that the arms cannot move up i'm a person that likes their figures having articulation on them it's just it's a big disappointment that the arms cannot move up at all i know it would probably most likely hinder the articulation if it did had it on the harnesses it would have been better if it we had that articulation just in case if it didn't but it just sucks because the arms cannot move up because the plastic on the torso is hitting it and there's no way for them to move up unless you swivel it around like this like even that it like it hits it because of the harnesses yeah it looks kind of funny but honestly this is how I'm gonna post cable on my display because it just sucks I honestly did love the figure, and especially this was a figure that I didn't want it out of the whole wave, because honestly, I had my other cable, and I know this is a more classic cable, but I'm 100% sure they're going to give us a Jim Lee cable. I'd rather prefer that one over this one, if they do give us a Jim Lee cable, but it just sucks that the articulation on the arms, it just kills the figure for me. If I was to rate this a 1 through 10, I would most likely rate him a 7. It's just that articulation really, really bugs me. And I will most likely, if it wasn't for that, I will rate him a 9. Because it is a solid figure. There's a lot of new parts on this figure that I really, really like. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this review. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe for more content coming your way. And as always, have a good one.